another video. It is Saturday. It is time to get my backyard ready for summer, ready for spring and summer. I'm so excited. I've been needing, I've been running around. <laughs> we just went to Lowe's and Home Depot. We've been doing a lot of stuff getting ready for this, but I have needed to get out here and do some spring cleaning and trim my monkey grass back so it can grow. Um, I always cut it back this time of year and then it just come by June it is just full and beautiful. But tomorrow we're having Madison's engagement party in our backyard. So that's really pushed me to get this done ASAP. So, which is good because it'll be done and then we can just sit and enjoy it. But today is um, April 14th, 13th. Tomorrow is the party. So we are in full fledged wedding planning mode over here. We've been, we've done so much since she got engaged a week ago. So I'm excited. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be her dream wedding. We are so excited and just so grateful how everything is falling into place. So I will share all of that later on. The wedding will be later on this year. So, but today we're going to get outside. We're going to clean <laughs> the yard. The dogs are like, can we please go outside? Jackson is actually getting the lawnmower out now and he's going to cut the grass. As soon as he cuts the grass, we'll be moving the patio furniture into the yard and then we'll be able to clean off the patio really well but can't do that yet until I can move it out. I really want to get in and there, clean out all the leaves and everything and power wash. I got a few um, well only one pot of flowers I'm going to plant in the front yard. I'm going to trim all the monkey grass in the front and the backyard and we're going to be putting some new mulch down. Basic things getting it ready. Come back for my next video if you want to see the engagement party set up and how everything looks out there because it's going to be so pretty. My patio is going to look a whole lot better so I'm going to take you outside and let you see what it looks like after the fall and the winter of not being used. Actually you just turned on the lawnmower so I'll have to do a voiceover but I'll show you everything. So this is our backyard space. Last year we ripped out our deck and poured this patio and we haven't really used it in months because of just the cold weather, the fall and winter. So I wanted to show you what everything kind of looked like. My mulch, I need to add more mulch. It kind of blows away and stuff. I don't have a border around it. I may put a border eventually, but uh, my hostas are coming in and looking beautiful. My monkey grass needs to be cut back. I always cut it back in the spring and it grows back really beautiful but you can see we have a holly berry tree and it literally drops leaves all year long and we can sweep the patio and the next day it's covered if it's a windy day it's covered in more leaves so it's a constant struggle but this has not been done for a while so it's time to get out here and clean it I had intended on also power washing. I did not get to that this day, but we did get everything cleaned up and it looks so much better. This is my front, like, it's not a flower bed, but whatever it is, we really need to replace these rainbow, a rainbow, <laughs> these railroad ties. Um, that's a future project. I need to get like a truckload of soil, do like a raised bed. I don't know, there's so much rocks in this that it doesn't grow very much. It's the same monkey grass as the backyard but it just doesn't grow up here because it's got so much rock so maybe sometime I will do that. I got these at Lowe's. I just wanted to show you the label so you could see if you're interested but I just I usually will put a couple different kinds of plants in this pot but I just thought you know what I'm just gonna buy one hopefully it will fill out it has purple flowers on it and this does well in full sun and this uh, front of the house gets the afternoon sun and it gets so hot in the summer so I needed to get something that wasn't going to die. I used to have my hostas out here but they would get fried every summer until I realized oh they can't handle the sun. So I just did this. I actually have that little white pot next to it and I forgot to get a plant for that so I will do that eventually. And here I'm, I had like some ivy last year that had grown up and it was all dead. So I just was taking that off. Then I needed to change my little garden flag from my Easter flag. And I got this, I think, on Amazon, I think. But I didn't realize when I put it on that I put it on backwards. So later on, after I was done filming, I switched it around and realized that it's only one way. You can't do it both ways. So then I just went through and there's not many weeds yet because it's still so early in the season but I pulled a few weeds and just cut these this monkey grass back too and I, I say this every year but for some reason on this end the monkey grass grows bigger and then it, it just gets smaller and smaller as we get to the other end it just isn't really great for growing things I would love to have this really full with flowers and just you know ones that will come back every year but I would have to you know get like a truckload of dirt and make higher 
beds and it would be a process and I would love to do that so maybe someday but right now it's got about six inches or more 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 than that probably of just like rocks and mulch and stuff so it's just not very good soil but this is going to go ahead and trim all these back before we head to the backyard All right, now we are in the backyard trying oh, I Marion had surgery and he is cleared to go ahead and lift things but we were still trying to like give him the lighter things so basically like Jackson and I did a lot of the heavy lifting I was trying to make sure he didn't hurt himself he did not he was fine but we wanted to go ahead and clear the entire patio off so that we could really get in and clean everything and for the engagement party the furniture is going to be out in the grass anyway so we wanted to just move it all out it was a perfect opportunity to clean it really well um, this tarp has been covering this couch that we've been storing out here it was not intended to be out here this long but it is going to be going soon but for now it was out here and we thought you know what while we have it out here we might as well utilize it so in the at the engagement party we did use it so if you come back you'll see how we used it but um, Jackson and I were just moving all of the furniture out onto the grass and we were going to use under the awning for serving food and things like that and it actually worked out really nice it just kind of gave us double the space so I put the rug pulled the rug off and put it out in the grass too and it was nice because when Paisley was here she could like crawl around on it it just kind of like defined the space out in the grass so I'll have to remember this if we ever have a party again in the backyard it was really nice it just gave us like double the space We're just using the leaf blower to try and get all these leaves off but it was it was a lot it was a lot of leaves Marion brought his rake in and was also raking some of them out from underneath the stairs and then I was gonna power wash the actual concrete but like I said we, I didn't do that this day and so we just got the broom and kind of scrubbed a little bit and it's not a big deal it was under the table and then over by the house where the dryer vent is it gets like stuff stuck on there lint and stuff so we do need to do that this summer and we will but for this day we just we every time we would blow the leaves off though we did more work and it blew more on and so it was constantly have and then even the day of the party we had to do it multiple times just because it was super windy we were fighting crazy wind but the leaf blower is super handy to have for things like this
right, so I decided not to power wash. We're gonna have a long tablecloth that goes to the ground. It'll cover some of that, but we will power wash that later on. Just not today. My back is hurting. Marion can't do so much just because he's still kind of recovering from surgery. But we got um, this all cleaned off. This is all gonna, I'm gonna put all this together. This is gonna be put over here. And we're gonna have like a balloon arch and a picture, kind of like a picture photo, photo booth. It's gonna look really nice. Also, I have this planter that Marion made. He made both of them. So I got some more ferns and some more dirt and I'm gonna fill that and we'll put these um, somewhere over here. But for now, I'm gonna go through and just trim these monkey grass up and put some fresh mulch down. And then when the sun is not directly on everything, I'll probably come out here and fix these. And these are the benches that Marion made to go with the table. I just told him what I wanted. And he used actually old, those were old boards from the deck. And he used the old, the four by fours. So I'm excited to reuse all that. Also the legs of this are the old four by fours. So a lot of the deck was reused. And I'm gonna paint them to match this table and this. Later on this summer, I also have to still paint this whole awning. So that will come later on, but for now, we're gonna just use them, but that table's gonna be covered up, so it won't show that it doesn't match.
these are the planters that Marianne built and gave to me, I think for Mother's Day last year. And they, I, I like to, the other one I've had out, the other, one of them I've had out since he gave it to me. The other one's been in my basement and I just put a trash bag in it and then filled it with real soil. And I don't use real plants in it. I haven't, at least I may sometime, I don't know, I may add some real ones to it. I just fill it with dirt and then I use these five dollar ferns that I got from Walmart there so two fills up one of these so it's ten dollars but you can see the one to the right it's kind of faded so I got those last year and they did kind of fade I guess they were just in the sun too much so I'll see after this year what these look like if they're all faded too I don't know if I'll buy them again but it was a really good deal and you can see how they spread out and two of them is plenty big enough for this big um flower box I love these they're so pretty and they would be really beautiful with some real flowers in them so eventually maybe all right these are um, not as pretty as real ferns but I always forget to water ferns and I kill them so <laughs> these will work and they're only five dollars a bundle so ten dollars for each one not bad the dirt holds them up um, I, sometime, at some point, maybe this summer when I paint, I'll paint these as well. They need to be either stained or painted. Also, I need more black mulch, but they only had one bag left at Lowe's. And so we grabbed one of the expensive ones. <laughs> But I needed, really needed a whole other bag so I can fill in more. But for now, they said they were getting more on Tuesday. So this is good for now. So I'm going to clean up all of this. When I'm doing this voiceover, there's people doing yard work. So you might hear that. I apologize. But you can see these cushions, they're kind of beat up. The one in the corner, we think it was a squirrel or some squirrels in the backyard that destroyed the corner a lot of you were saying I could get a cover for this or I could put them up put the cushions up during the winter and I think that is definitely what we're going to do next year just because they did not do very well over the winter months the, these cushions are just not they're a hot mess <laughs> they are not gonna last much longer I can tell um, with that, this, we I think the squirrels like just destroyed it. So I have throw pillows, thankfully, that I can put over the corner. I have these pillows that are not outdoor pillows. So I ordered some pillowcases on Amazon that are waterproof. They're outdoor. So I'm just going to put these inside of them. And I thought I had, yeah, I have four pillows. So I'm just going to put the waterproof covers over them. And then we'll leave them out for spring. And then I'll probably change them up in the summer. So I got these on Amazon. They're linked to my Amazon shop, but it was $20 for four big ones. They're 20 by 20. And I just thought they were pretty and springy and they'll be pretty for the party too.
last thing we were going to do this day was to finish up this sign so in a previous video I did show you the sign that we were making what it looked like in the final video the next video you'll see it actu actually completely finished and what it looks like it is absolutely beautiful but this is a beautiful sign that we saw on Etsy and Marion recreated it for us and then I painted it and made some words with my Cricut but you can see here he's just um, putting some chains to keep it from opening up too much and it looks so beautiful I absolutely love the sign look at how beautiful Marion that was $300 on Etsy you're a genius he should sell these on his Etsy shop um, I said well they people ship them I mean they sell them for $300 so somebody pays that much they come of course with the custom lettering and we're gonna put that on there too and then fill it with dirt and flowers and it's gonna be gorgeous and we can reuse it for her wedding shower her bridal shower and also for her wedding so we can use that for lots of things just change up the wording on it it's beautiful good job you got check it out you could check it out so I used my Cricut and you know just picked the font that we wanted and it just says welcome to Jordan and Madison's engagement party and what I love about it is that it's custom and we can I used a uh, vinyl that can peel off so I can you know pull these off easily and reuse this for anything really and add whatever flowers we want it's so versatile it's so beautiful I am so in love with this sign it was my favorite decoration for the party that is it for today we had to actually change the way the couch was because the Sun was too much on it and uh, for the time of the it's the time right now that the party will be going on tomorrow so we just didn't want people sitting directly in the Sun so we moved it and of course this is going to be moved and then this is going to all be set up and decorated but it feels good to have some of the yard work done it's gonna be a beautiful party it's gonna be windy but you know <laughs> at least it's not raining we'll take what we can get it's supposed to be 84 and sunny tomorrow well partly sunny so anyway I would say this is like phase one of getting the yard ready for summer um, there's like if you watched our video last year when we poured this patio and built all this there's like a long list of things we still want to do like a privacy fence I want to do something over here with this window that we're probably gonna do this summer I want a new door there's a lot of things so you know we'll do it as we can but probably the next thing I'm gonna do out here is paint these benches and paint the awning and then we'll move on but anyway I hope that you enjoyed this video thanks again for hanging out with me make sure that you come back if you want to watch uh, the engagement video and you want to see how everything came together and a few clips of the party that will be my next video so make sure to come back subscribe if you're not already and you want to be I love you guys so much I'm praying for you and I'll see you in my next one bye bye